All right, look down below. See that mess of letters down there? Yeah, like right here. That's intentional. Because what I have down there are the most common tenses, and I put 16 of them down there, that we have in Spanish. Now, just to get technical, a couple of them are moods, like the present subjunctive. But in, in all reality, they're tenses. Let's just make our life easy. Okay, and today we're going to talk about sequences. Sequence of tenses. So let me give you an example. If I gave you a circle, and a circle, and another circle, and you had to guess what was next, you would probably say triangle. No, you would say circle. Good. Let me give you another one. So maybe I gave you triangle, and then triangle, and then triangle. You would say triangle. Well, that's kind of like a math thing, right? And I'm sure we could get our math friends to give us a definition of what a sequence is. What does it mean in Spanish, and why do I need to know it? Well, we want to think about our tenses in Spanish, and we want to put them into two categories. They're either going to be past ideas, and I'm putting past in scare quotes here, or they're going to be present ideas. All right? So everything that we have below, we want to put into one of two categories. Maestro, why do I want to know this? Well, you want to know this because it's going to help us become better speakers, better writers. Specifically, when you go to study reported speech, that's an R, R, reported speech. Uh, and even more so, when you're using subjunctive Right, trigger word K, change of person, among other things. Those are the most common. So what do we want to do? Let's just put these in two categories. So let's just grab one. I don't know, like present subjunctive. Is that a present idea? Or is that a past idea? Well, I think it's fairly obvious because it has the word present in it that that's going to be a present idea. Okay, let's grab another one. The conditional perfect. Ooh, conditional. That is going to be a past idea. I mean, I'm kind of hoping you're at home right now or at school, and you ever watch Dora, or you see little kids watch Dora the Explorer, and they, like, shout at the screen? Like, deep in my heart, that's what I hope you guys are doing right now. So, past perfect subjunctive. You're shouting, past, past! <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm losing it. Okay, let's grab another one. Um, the preterite. So is that a past idea, or is that a present idea? Well, preterite. That's what happened yesterday, last week, ten times ago. So we're going to put that into the past. Another one. Ooh, the present perfect subjunctive. Again, fairly obvious it has the word present in there. You might also be thinking, maestro, I, I don't, mm, man, I don't really know what the present perfect is. Don't worry, at the end of the video, I'm going to have a link to all of these different tenses and moods so that you can practice them. Okay, let's grab another one. How about the pluperfect? Pluperfect, sometimes called the past perfect. There we go. So that's going to be a past idea. And again, all you need to memorize for today is, are these past ideas or are these present ideas? Future perfect. Hmm, that's going to be a present. And right now, you might be shouting at the screen, no, that's future. Well, yeah, but for right now, you only get to choose between past or present. That's just how it works, okay? The imperfect subjunctive, or the past subjunctive. Present? 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 Nope. That's a past idea. This might seem obvious, I know, but we need to practice. All right. Conditional. You know, and I'm going to put another one up here with a conditional. Let's put the future, because we always learn these together. They have the same irregulars. You know, you take your verb and you add your ending. Well, the conditional is a past idea. I would go to the store. And the future is a present idea. I will go to the store. Okay? And then we have the present. Present! Or the present indicative. What else do we have? We have commands. Ooh, let's leave that one for a little bit. That's a fun one. Okay, we have imperfect. We always learn that when we learn preterite, usually. That's a past idea. Past progressive. Well, that's a star plus ando yendo. It's what was happening. It's in the past, so we're going to move it over here. Kind of running out of space. Uh, we have the present perfect. Again, Obvious, I know, has the word present in there. Maybe I should have written these in Spanish. 
Uh, we've got the present progressive. That's a star plus ando yendo. All right, here it is. Commands. All right. Present idea, past idea. Present idea, past idea. Go to the store. Study a lot. That's a present idea. Okay, so there's your list. Are there some other tenses? Yeah, probably. Well, no, not really. Not that you're going to use anyway. I mean, these are the most common. And what are we doing all this for? Well, right now, it's because we just want to introduce the concept of sequence of tenses. They are either past ideas, or they are present ideas. And when we're writing and we're speaking, we're going to keep that pattern of circle, 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 circle. Woo! That circle. Or triangle, 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 triangle. And, and later, we're going to work on this with respect to reported speech and subjunctive. So for today, go out. Look at these. Make sure you know how to form them. Make sure you know the irregulars. Make sure you know, well, everything. Suerte.